check this egoist out. Oh yeah. Put that right there. Gather another yep. one. Go right there. Put it right there. There we go. There we go. Good for you. <laughs> Rick. You see, that's what you get. That's what you get. Imagine, like. <sighs> This person could have parked their car during like rush hour or something or like Oh hell no When everybody's coming home from work they're like oh hold on let me start with the grocery store and The audacity The nerve of some people Yeah my dad used to do this to people when he'd see them like parking wrong or taking up too many parking spaces Like he was that guy so honestly like <laughs> good on you Well, that took a turn. I was not expecting that. I mean, at first, like, oh man, like, what a He just, you know, went into the parking spot even though this person was clearly waiting for it, like, ugh, whatever. And then when I saw this person get out of their car, I thought they were gonna go, like, chase after them and confront them. No. They brought a whole bat. Why do you have a bat in your car? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. I keep that there for protection. You know, McDonald's is having the hardest time. Have a nice day. It's because you know what? Get what? I'm going to call your police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I will. Call the police. I don't need the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Get out of my school. Call the police. Okay. I don't have to. Oh, yes, you do. Okay, yeah. call the police. The person starting the fight is asking to call the police. I don't think I've ever seen that happen, to be honest. Usually they're not the ones asking for the police. It's the person, the victim in, in the situation calling the police. If you want really good service, go to Nobu or something. I don't know. <laughs> so does that mean you ask for a supervisor for me? Yes, we asked for a supervisor, ladies and gentlemen, and they're on their way. I called them 10 minutes ago, <laughs> and they're on like their this? way. So they'll be here shortly. Why are you like the this, gentleman is in 29, row 29, all the way across with his kids, and he had one seat in 38. And I told him I wasn't well, able to accommodate his wait. seat because we, the wait. flight is completely booked, ladies and gentlemen. It's completely you. booked. And Very sarcastic. All Very his nice. kids are in row 29, and there's only one person in 38. Uh, Thank you. We're going to continue the morning process with row one. <laughs> She was having none of it. She was really narrating the guy's video. She was like, okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's what's going on. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we've got this gentleman in row 29. All of his family are there. He's mad because one person's sitting in the back. Sorry, but you should have booked more seats. I don't know what to tell you. Bye. The energy, the energy. I love it. I love it. She needs to start like a beauty channel or something or a reaction channel. <gasps> I mean, competition. I don't want to, you know, like saturate the market too much, but I'd watch the hell out of her videos. I love her energy. That's great. I love that. <laughs> okay, you're disrespecting us and we need to back up. I don't give a plan. Stop yeah, that's cool. Put your mask on. Dude, what are you recording me for? Because I have family members who have died from COVID, buddy, and you don't seem to care. Well, this isn't social distancing. Okay? You're actually disrespecting me because you're in my space. Did you just walk up to me? Yeah. Because I didn't take a step. Yeah, I did. So protect yourself. <laughs> Go, go make yourself famous. Oh my god. The nerve of some people. <gasps> I mean, there's so much wrong with this video. A mask. Not that hard. Put a piece of cloth on your face and call it a day. Good. Second of all, you don't cough on people. Even before COVID, it was insulting for someone to come and cough on you. But at the time, it wasn't really an insult. People didn't really think to cough on people. But now, you know, entitled people everywhere are just like, <coughs> I'm gonna cough on you. <laughs> really? Oh, I already, no, they told me that I could. Yeah, you cannot record inside my store. 
inside your store or AutoZone store? You can't record inside of any AutoZone store. Oh, they told me that I could if I had trouble. So I need you to turn your camera off or I need you to leave. Why would I have to leave? I'm because just trying to figure out. we do not allow you to record inside of our store. I just want to know why I cannot return, do an exchange. I need a receipt. But, but it, it doesn't say you need a receipt on your website. Return and at our discretion. There's a sign on the I'm not. I'm doing an exchange. I understand that, but there's no receipt. So yeah, I, I lost it. There is no, no return. There was a receipt. So you mean, so because I got it as a gift and, and I lost my receipt. First of all, I'm going to ask you to turn your camera off. But why do I have to turn my camera off? Have a nice day, okay? She was having none of that. Sometimes, you know, when you feel like, you know, you're going to film the situation because you are anticipating some kind of drama. I don't know what that says about you and the way you're going to go act. But like maybe if you just put the camera away or didn't think to, to turn the, the camera on, maybe things would go better. It's my policy. What is it? Only five. Um, this is gonna go my website. Okay, you can only use five coupons per household. Uh huh. And they got to, you know, match the item. If it's if it's the same amount as the item uh -huh. or more, you can't use it. Right. I'm gonna yeah. be paying for these. Yeah, ones. I understand that. Yes, ma'am. But I can only take five per household. That's all I can uh, take. Now. But I'm dying for this card. I can't just have something separate to get. Literally two, just two extras. That's it. The new coupon policy. Is it all daily? Is, is it a district thing or? Yeah, it's a district thing. Yes, is ma'am. My district manager sent that out to all. <sighs> See, some of these other videos, I don't know if they really call them entitled. They just call them, call them rude. This person though, this person's entitled. She's really like, oh, but like you can't let me have like this extra two. Like, come on, please, no. I'm not making no exceptions, all right? Stop trying to get your freebies. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. Okay, so now what I'm what I'm hearing is that he's concerned about all these people back here, but he's prepared to go and spend five minutes to find you. Look at his face. It looks insolent. It looks disrespectful. His eyes started twitching, and he started confronting me physically, and he's still making faces with his mouth. He's lacking professionalism, and I'd like you to count this, but oh my God. What, well, sorry? I'm not your buddy. We're not in a pub. We're not in a bar. No, I'd like to deposit the money in my son's bank account. When you will be Trust me, I am not going to let this go. I, guys, I'm not going to let. I'm warning you right now. I'm not going to let this go. I understand. Okay, and you're not doing the job properly. You're not managing properly. Okay, so that's good. You can go. You can go. Oh my God, this man was really mad about depositing some coins from a piggy bank, and he said, "Oh, but the guy's eye was twitching. Sometimes your eye just twitches." My eye sometimes twitches. I'm okay. I'm not disrespectful. I'm not a bad person. At least I don't think I'm a bad person. Oh my gosh. He's really coming here with like the wrath. Like, well, I'm not gonna forget this one, Mrs. TD ma lady manager person. Uh. Go to CIBC. <laughs> Go to the coin thing. Those like coin machine things. You dump all the coins in there. It sorts it out and it gives you your money. Just go. Go there. You know what the hell you doing. You ain't have no money to pay for what you took in there. That's why you did that move. I'm not no stupid person. Get your in that stove. Okay, bop. Now put that back on that counter that you stole right now. Oh. Put it back on there. Nah, Christina, I, I seen it. Put it back on the store and we won't call the police. Everything, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Not on oh. my time. Don't say nothing. Walk away, Christina. Don't say nothing. You a fucking thief. You knew exactly what she was doing, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Still taking stuff out of her. Oh my god, how much? How much stuff did she take? What the heck? Also, I'm living for. Just don't say anything, Christina. Just walk away, Christina. Christina, you better not be in there. Just mind your business. Leave, Christina. I want to see Christina's point of view. I really hope that she vlogged some of it too. I've been sitting here for thirty minutes. Oh, are you guys gonna play away? Baby. for you? Yeah. Awesome. Put a place. Everybody watch you. Stop. Stop. Put on two masks. Everybody, put on two masks. Because I got two on. Put on two on. The person in the back, you'll see this on Instagram in the morning. The fact that people are now like ganging up on others for not wearing a mask, 
Oh, how far we've come. This is society now. <laughs> you will get into a fight with somebody over not wearing a mask. I mean, gotta follow the rules, but. I don't have a mask! I don't have a mask! Back with a mask. Are you kidding me right now? You're not gonna sell me this? It's gonna take you to. I'm, gonna, I'm spreading more dirt staying in here, for God's sakes. I'm not paying for it. And you have COVID in your country. That also means you gotta wear a mask. I'm an American too. I still wear a mask. You don't have to go storming out. You don't have to have a fit. You don't have to go be a toddler screaming and carrying on on the floor. All right, just put the piece of cloth in your mouth. Call it a day. It's not that hard. Just done. Go ahead, call him. Oh, call him. You wanna look dumb? Cause this, oh. this is the war star right now. I'm how dumb you are right now. You sound dumb telling my kids and making too much noise. Noise pollution. You sound, you sound ignorant. You sound like a fool. Yeah. Tell them. Tell her what what. If you don't want to hear children playing, go to a Chick-fil-A that doesn't have a play place. Or go to the drive-thru and eat your food in the car. You don't have to tell the kids to be quiet. You chose to dine at this fine dining establishment with a plastic play place in it. Give me my f***ing coffee. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have a coffee. Give me my coffee. It's not a mining bar. Okay? For us, we want to protect our own workers, so go ahead and take your part, okay? You're losing, dude. There are winners and losers. You're you're gonna lose, dude. You're not getting your coffee. <laughs> no mask, yeah. The person like filming clearly isn't a part of the situation, but he just saw something going on and was like, I need to document this. Guys, we've been in this pandemic for a million and a half years. If we don't follow the rules, we're gonna be in this until we experience the fiery death of the universe. Do you really need this? What do you want to do, post it for you? How about that? Good. I think I'll get real close to you and hop on you then. How's that? <coughs> oh, wow. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. No. No way. Let's go. Like, that is not cool. That is not cool at all. Before the pandemic, people didn't really think to cough on other people because, like, why would you do that? Now, like people are using their germs as, as weapons and that's a little sickening to think like guys can we just keep our saliva our germs to ourselves why do we need to be spreading this life is hard enough without people coughing who's the manager here you're the manager you're the manager who is the district manager this is going to be handled right now who is the district manager you guys think this is a joke who is the district manager over here? Who is the district manager? I am asking you guys, who is the district manager here? You are not honoring the order. You better get me a real manager over here. Nobody's giving him any attention. That's kind of what you gotta do at some point. Like these people feeling so entitled to, to whatever services and just berating staff. Like at some point you just gotta be like, la 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 la, I'm not listening to you, you can leave, ha ha ha, because at some point they're gonna get tired and we're gonna leave. Oh, why? Uh, we were just told that we, you were taking photos of us. Hey, oh. listen, is there any way that we could see your camera? No, nope, that's okay, I was Why can't I we wasn't. see your camera while you weren't taking pictures of us? Can we just see your camera real quick? Oh. Really that's not okay, just okay. delete them. Yeah, I will. I'm asking you to delete right them in front of me. No, I will. In front of me right now. You think I'm joking? Leave them in front of me the right now. Not I working. see you shake. I see the photos. No, I see them right there. No, I see the photos right there. Delete okay. them. All right. Delete them. Don't worry. You see that, Don't guys? Worry. One. Delete. I'll and call you married. out. I'll call married. you out on these dicks. That's uh, weird. Okay. Don't Just ever delete do that them again. Again. I'm I'm not. Not. Don't ever do that again. Okay. This is a lesson for everyone out there. If you catch something like this, 
do not hesitate to call this person out. Anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, speak up. Even if it's like a minor thing, use your voice. I'm telling you, you'll feel so much better at the end. Well then, he was really about to square up on the flight. That's something straight out of a movie. Oh my goodness. I have had it with these mother Karens. On this mother flight. Guys, don't fight people. Use your words. Use nice words. Kind words. All right? You don't need to fight people on plane because that's like something from an action movie. And I don't think we need that in real life. <laughs> Boss, because your son of a <laughs> so would <laughs> in my, take my let me in here. That's what I need. The mall's open later. I don't give a, I was here. I don't give a sh if your mall's open or not. Were you in the store at the time? Yeah, I was standing right here and your guy told me he couldn't take my payment. So you guys, man. Don't come back here anymore, ever again. Dude, you. you hey, get the get the up. Up. Ooh, right at the end. Oh, that rage. Ooh, spicy. It's a spicy video. I don't know why you're why you're mad, but the fact that the people working completely just snapped on him. Props to you. Don't let people treat you like that. No way. Like I keep telling you, we don't need that energy. 2021 is hard enough. England, elite mother. I told you don't give him access. Did you just say something I told you not to say? Pushing my buttons with your snake mother on the ground with your luggage check? Are you with the goddamn sellout FBI mother with Obama and my family? Are you the bird from stolen stuff in Mexico? Asking me who my God is? It's not Satan. Understood? It's not gonna be anybody else's God either. Call the law. That was intense. At the beginning of the video, it's like, I don't know what provoked her to say all this. Are you the bird bitch? She obviously had something else going on in her life and she really just needed to get some of that anger out. Definitely not at the right time at all. And definitely not in a healthy way. But my goodness. Asking me who my God is? It's not Satan, understood? But good to know that her god isn't Satan. All right, good good for you, Karen. Good for you. We can't all worship Lil Nas X and, and Montero music videos. You, you're telling me I lost the money. Yes. I'm for telling the ice you, you spent your money on an icy that you have in front of you. Uh -huh. And you didn't like the taste of it. So you're it's kinda, acting like it's a four-year-old. It's actually kind of water. Mall, in the center of the mall here, you're acting like a four-year-old. You pulled out your phone. And you're trying to, I don't know what you're trying to do. You're trying to be aggressive, passive aggressive, Not and get at another all. free drink. Not, okay. Nobody gives a f that you don't like your blue icy that you paid four thirty six for. Like what? That's your f problem, man. You shouldn't have bought the icy if you didn't like the icy. It's an icy. They're all the same everywhere you go. That's your problem. Don't buy another one. You learned your lesson. We all make mistakes. There you go. Don't let him walk all over you, all right? The fact that this guy is really out here trying to get a refund and fighting about some frozen juice, like, if he didn't like it, go to 7-Eleven, go get a slushie. You can customize what flavor you want in your cup, all right? Like, it's not a big deal. And now you know not to get the blue icy. Like, it doesn't hurt. Let me whip it out. Let me whip it out. Hey, let me whip hey. your mask up. Hey, put your mask on. Put your mask on, sir! Put your mask on, sir! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? This is why people hate California! California a bad name! Give California a bad name! 
He's really putting on a show. <laughs> Why didn't you put a mask on? <laughs> she didn't need to do, like, I would expect that kind of behavior from a four-year-old. And you know what? Even four-year-olds wear masks. <gasps> no, this guy really didn't need to be that extra. He went the extra mile to put his mask on. Like, good for you. No, I don't need oh. a mask. Oh. No, I don't need a mask. I have a medical condition that prevents me from wearing a mask. I have a doctor who says I have a medical condition. Okay. I don't have to provide it to you. The law says that people with disabilities are protected. By the law, you do not have to reveal what your disability is. Okay. When she said, I have a medical disability, and she was screaming at the top of her lungs and her voice was cracking. Why is it that the first thing that came to my brain was Hey Hey from Moana? Cause she kind of sounded like she was a rooster, like when her voice was cracking. <laughs> and it kind of just sounded like Hey Hey. Like is your medical condition sounding like a rooster? so ridiculous this whole mask thing is just so it's getting so out of hand all you have to do is put a piece of cloth on your face like it's not gonna suffocate you it's not like people are asking you to put a bag over your head you're fine you're okay oh he said catch me outside the threats are coming out Ooh. I don't understand what the big deal is like oh you touched my phone sorry is that a life-threatening thing me touching your phone probably not whoopsie daisy I went poke yeah right here oh. right there no mask right there hey girl there we go. candy camera <laughs> there we go I want you to know that your insensitivity is ridiculous. I no longer have grandparents due to this virus because of people like you sorry, who don't want to wear a mask in the store. It's, it's ridiculous, it's actually. Ridiculous. It's insensitive and it's disgusting as a human being mm -hmm. for you to show so much privilege to all of these people. There are so many older people in here okay. who have health conditions, pregnant, other people. And I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna Oh, great. Oh, free. whoopsie do! congratulations <laughs> for your pregnancy. It's ridiculous. And I want you to know that. You're on candid camera. And I want you to know that. 4K, thank you. Snaps, props to you, girl. You tell them, finally, somebody who's exposing these people. I'm so sorry that you've lost family members to this virus because of ignorant people like this woman who refused to wear a mask. People are dying. If you can put your selfishness aside for two seconds, that would be great. Thanks. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I love this clip. I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. The way he has so much stuff stuffed in his pants. They had to, had to speed up the clip. Fire department. Oh my god, the so going. Stretchy pants. Oh my god. The fact that he was able to stuff so so much down his pants. He really wore his stretchiest pants that day. He went into that store on a mission. He got caught. Whoops. But you know, at least you got to test out the stretchiness of your pants. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked off plane. I feel it. Why are we having a discussion? 
Yeah, girly, get your bag. Bye-bye. You have no place for your toxic energy on this plane. Bye-bye. I love watching people gang up against other people on planes. Like, just get off the flight. Ugh. And then, like, when they clap when they leave. Oh, God.